is good, Greg Gang? Today and kind of tomorrow, I'm gonna be spending 24 hours out here in the woods. Now on this challenge, I have three main objectives. One, build a fire. Two, catch and cook my own food. And three, survive the night. Bro, what in the world is this? Oh, bro, there it went. There it goes, there it goes. Now since I am staying all night, I do need to pick some kind of base camp. And uh, well, this looks like a pretty good spot because it's flat and everything. And well, the rest of the place is just a big mountain. Plus there's already a fire pit over there. All I gotta say is uh, there's a lot of snakes and a lot of ticks out here. So I kind of gotta be careful. Let me go ahead and get settled down. There's my fishing pole. And here's my backpack. I think we can do it, guys. I really do. I think we can make it the night. In my last 24-hour challenge, I actually slept in a tent. But today, I wanted to do it a little bit different because, well, I woke up and had back pain for about six weeks. So this time, I brought a hammock. I do have to be careful, though, because there's been a lot of windstorms lately, and I don't want a tree to fall on me. So kind of going to look up. I think we're good. Anyways, I'm ready. I do got my fishing pole here, but I don't have any bait. I'm going to have to try to find that myself. I do have a sleeping bag because it's supposed to get very cold tonight. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? I've already got a tick on me. That's going to be my biggest fear either that or crazy humans walking up on me when i'm trying to sleep but speaking of crazy humans walking up on me while i sleep i had them in mind for one i've got a hatchet i can always cut off their big toe but i do have this in case something goes very wrong this is just a standard glock it is really good at keeping away raccoons possums and crazy people that may or may not try to sneak up on you while you sleep here in kentucky the wild wild east hopefully we don't have to use that though we are going to try to catch or cook some of our food but i don't think we're going to shoot anything i think we're actually going to try to catch it with a fishing pole but next on our list i think we should go ahead and set up our hammock since this is going to be our place to sit i do want it kind of near the fire just in case mosquitoes get bad i can always stop some smoke signals and tell them to get the heck out of here enjoy the time lapse <laughs> I am slightly concerned about this tree I picked because it is very flimsy, but then again, it's kind of strong. It can't be any worse than this time. Ah! That was a low point in my camping career. Very, very low point. But anyways, let's try this out. If it holds me, I'm happy. If it doesn't hold me, well, I'm not happy. Well, it doesn't hold me. Okay, okay, I just found my sec third tick. Make that third tick. And I'm pretty sure I just felt something a lot bigger crawling out my pants. Fourth? Oh no. Fifth? Oh, come on, man. There's no way. Where did I get into all these? I'm eat up with ticks, man. I must have stepped in a nest of them. Yep, there's seven, eight, nine, ten. Make that 11, 12, 13, and 14. Wow, this is sad. I kind of don't even know what to do about this. Not trying to like complain or anything, but. You know, that kind of killed the vibe a little bit. It was fun until I figured out I was going to get Lyme disease. Yeah, I'm infested, dude. This is bad. Oh my gosh, guys, can you see that? Can y'all see that? Look right in here. Look right there. Here's my other shoe. Just as bad. Look at them all. Look at it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm making a plan B. I gotta get out of here. This ain't gonna work, dude. So after a short retreat and a couple minutes research later, I have 100% changed location, guys. I figured out that that is actually the worst place to be for ticks. And there may be a bunch of you guys saying, Well, a real mountain man would stay in there even with the ticks. But then again, a real mountain man would probably die in about two or three months due to Lyme disease. Yeah, ticks are like no joke, guys. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Ticks are the most dangerous animal in this entire land. Cause think about it guys, yeah, bears, wolves, coyotes, cougars, those are all kind of scary. But they don't actively hunt you. Well, most of the time. But ticks do. Ticks are not scared of humans at all. Ticks don't care if you got a Glock in your backpack. They are literally out for blood. 300,000 people get Lyme disease in the U.S. every year. And on the other hand, almost no one ever gets attacked by a cougar. But now that my second base camp is set up, we still got to get food and cook it. Wait, and survive. The okay, we've actually not done anything. As for food, I think we should try to get a fish. But then again, somehow, somewhere, through all of this tick process, I actually lost my fishing pole. Meanwhile, I do have still have my phone. Here's Adam. Not seen him in a while. Hold on, guys. I'm afraid to get back in the uh, routine with you. Technically, I can't talk to you too long. I mean, the title of the video is Solo Challenge, so... Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is considered cheating or not. So far, the only other people I've saw was about 60 ticks. But they're out already? Yeah, I, sit, I literally sit down in a nest of them. Now I'm out in the field. Okay guys, here's the plan. Since I'm, uh, I really don't want to build a fire right now because I would have to sustain it for so long. I think I'm going to go ahead and show you what I do have in my backpack, which is not much at all. The first thing in my backpack 
technically isn't even in my backpack. It is my sleeping bag. You know, that way I don't suffer from hypothermia. Again, I do have a life straw. I don't know if I'll be using this because I don't really feel thirsty. So, yeah. Another really important thing is this right here. This is the cooking set. This is how we're actually going to cook the food. Looks like I got a lot of different pans. That thing, which is really cool. Oh, what's that? Whatever in the world this is, which I have no idea. And this small wooden machete, which I have no idea how I'm supposed to use it. And last, but definitely not least, I got the KG hatchet and the KG survival knife. Both of these, including the Black Predator KG shirt, is available right now. Now, kendallgrade1.com slash help or first link in description. Now that you've seen what's in my backpack and you realize how literally underprepared I am, I think I'm just going to go out there and start collecting firewood. Because, uh, you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of hard to keep a fire burning if you don't have anything to burn. So... We're sitting on about hour five, guys, and I've got my fire pretty much ready to be. I've got my small sticks, I got my big sticks, and uh, well, yeah, here's my fire pit. I was gonna make my fire pit right over there. You can see I kind of tried to clear out a spot, but then I figured, you know what? That's in the middle of a bunch of pine needles, and I don't want to have a forest fire this weekend. You may also notice this giant random pop here and be saying, "You know, what the world's a big for giant pop there for? Is that what you're gonna hide behind if a scary man starts walking up to you?" The answer is actually no, but it's actually a wind blocker. In the last five hours, I. Was I will say this, I have not actually stayed in the hammock the whole time. I've done a couple things. One, I've actually peed completely around the perimeter. Not because I'm trying to mark my territory, just because, I don't know, drank a lot of water yesterday. But I've also went on a little jog. Not for exercise, though. Just because uh, I forgot my uh, my fire starter down at my pond. And now that I think about it, I've actually still done zero out of my three objectives. So we still got to build a fire, catch food, and cook it, and three, survive the night. Now, like I said earlier, I did forget my fish pole back there at the tick nest, and we are not going anywhere back near there. But I do have another option. Some of you may call it cheating. Some of you may call it theft. But me... I call it being smart. I'm not gonna kill a rabbit with a stick if I can just come get some free eggs, if you know what I mean. I took three. I think that should be... Oh, gosh. I think that should be enough, though. The last hour and a half has kind of been 100% uneventful at all. But right here, right now, we are gonna go ahead and try to start our fire. Put some magnesium down. Magnesium is a super flammable metal. And all it needs is one little spark to get blazing hot. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, no. There we go, now we got pretty good fire. Lots of smoke. <laughs> Can y'all even see anything right now? But in the meantime, I've got two of the three eggs right here. I think that we go ahead and crack them and put them in here. We can let them be heating up a little bit. There we go, there's one egg. Our problem is that we're, our wood is wet. Just listen, 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 Linda. Here, like squeezing, that's actually the water trying to evaporate. Most of that's not even smoke. Most of that's steam. That's my bold prediction. I'm not sure, though. And so here I was trying to build a fire. It wasn't really doing too good. As you can see, it's literally smoking like crazy. Then I gave up on the wood I gathered, and I actually went and tried to find some of the driest wood I could. I knew that if I was going to start a fire, it was going to be right here. But it never struck fire, so looks like we're not eating tonight. It's a sad day. You know what, I'll be honest, I never claimed to be good at making fires, but I have no idea what went wrong. I thought I found some pretty dry sticks. I don't know guys, sad day, sad day. You win some, you lose some. We just lost this one. <laughs> I mean, I guess we kind of started a fire. Kind of, but we definitely didn't sustain a fire, so I don't even count it. And then for number two, catch and cook our food, um... Hmm. Kind of glad I didn't go get a fish because that would have been a lot of work for nothing I don't know guys. I guess we can't really count that one either because we never got to cook the food now number three survive the night So help me if if I don't complete this one then well, I, I guess I, I I won't be able to post this video But you get the point I guess Oh wow, that's bright. I don't need that. Uh -uh. Little update, guys. It's like nine o'clock. I think it's getting dark. It doesn't look dark, but yeah, it's uh, it's getting kind of dark. Listen, guys, keep it between me and you. I got a boost. If you don't know what these are, these are like meals in a bottle for old people. Also got sweatpants now. But Kendall, dude, isn't that cheating? Listen up, Jerry. I don't know about you, but I don't see the word survive anywhere in the title. Therefore, no, it's kind of not cheating. Maybe it is. I don't know. That is the biggest mosquito I've ever saw. Get out of here, boy. I just hope I don't freeze to death. 
to be honest. I tell you what I should have done with me being right here on the edge of this field. I know kidding should have just brought my shotgun and kept it here beside of me just in case I woke up and there's turkeys out here. But anyways guys, here's my sleeping bag. This is the only thing that's going to prevent me from uh, freezing to death. I felt like I'm a caterpillar now. My sleeping bag don't have a zipper. Checking back in with Adam real quick. Adam, how many how many likes do the Grey Gang need to get for you to come out here and a 24 hour basically survival challenge? Not solo this time. I'm thinking 24,000 likes. Heard that Grey Gang. 24,000 for a 24 hour. Anyway, Anyways, guys, I've got to try to figure this out. I will catch you in the morning. Guys, guys. Oh. I heard something creeping around. I don't know what it is, but we're about to find out. Bro, what in the world is this? Bro, what in the world? Dude, it's right back here. Can y'all see this? I mean, I guess this is kind of normal. Things do move at night. But the question is, what is? And does it want to kill me? Or worse, does it want? Eat me. Oh, bro, there, wait, there it goes, there it goes. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? Can y'all see right there he is, right there he is. There he goes. Bro, I think it was a coon. It was either a coon or a possum. Why am I such a big baby? Why did I get out of bed for this? It's literally just a possum trying to eat, like, I don't know, cheese or something. Big shout out to my camera light, because, bro, this is cool. Anyways, this is what the field looks like. Can't see anything, but, uh, well, here's my camp. Nothing too crazy seems to be happening, but it's just me in there with that big sleeping bag, and I kind of got to pee, so I'll go over there and mark my territory, and hopefully no more guns will come up here. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's a stinking owl over there. What is going on? Never mind, I just woke up. Well, Kendall, how'd the night go? I think I survived, so that's one out of three that we can mark off our list. But it did rain. And then besides that, I mean, the possum was okay, but I don't know, it's just kind of cool in a way. It did get a little cold, but I was wrapped up in this, so no, I didn't really feel it. Mm. So as of right now, it's not been quite 24 hours since it's like kind of just the morning and it's like 10 o'clock. I think I'm going to call it a day. I, I really don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I feel like I'm in Narnia, dude.